Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and in this video we're going to talk about how you can become a freelance software developer and you can start to charge $100 an hour without needing a college degree. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, let's start off with uh, one of the really important things, why you actually need a college degree. So a college degree generally uh, is needed because you need to have something that you can show. But if you don't have a college degree, you need to have something else to show in place for it, right? That's the number one primary reason why most people actually work so hard to pursue that degree. And a lot of people, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're going for that college degree, it's to basically say, hey, I don't have any other experience to show for it, but I'll show you my college degree. Now, there are alternatives to this. Meaning that if you can prove your worth to somebody else, you don't need to show them you have a college degree. They frankly don't even care. So for some companies, it's experience. And as a freelance developer, it's not even necessarily experience. It's you being able to prove to somebody else you can develop a software for them that can help them grow their business. So if it's a startup you're working for, maybe they need an application and you're using a framework like Django in Python to develop a web application. Well, you can simply build them an application and make sure that it's something that they want, that's something that they can use. And if it's generating them uh, more money by you providing your skill set, then they don't care. At Clever Programmer, one of the things that we need is to create a companion app for all the stuff that you know I teach you guys. So I have programming courses in Python and I wanna make it really easy for you. So I might actually hire out a developer to make an app for me. And if they have any experience in creating apps and we have like a live interview and they can just show me that they can create it and it's something that could actually be scaled to all of the students, right? Because right now we have over 10,000 students at Clever Programmer. So if we can create that app and you guys can use it, well, as a business, Clever Programmer will instantly be making more money. And for me to pay the software developer, it's something that's very easy. So if the developer charges $100 an hour and he takes five, 10 or 15 or 20 hours to make the thing, which is $2,000, if my return on investment on that is like, let's say $10,000, or even let's say $5,000. I mean, do I care paying the developer $2,000? No, it's a matter of triviality at that point, right? That's how Ramit Sethi would say it. It's somebody I follow uh, and you can look him up and he teaches you like lots of ways you can earn a higher income. So ultimately the point is being able to prove your worth to somebody else whether it's through a college degree or it's through different projects or you being able to convince somebody else that you can actually help them and provide them value, right? So by value, what I mean is getting them a result that they care about and that they want. For most businesses and most people who are hiring you, think it, think it from their perspective. They're not necessarily looking for a beautiful website. Most people are looking for you know, the reason behind why they want a website, which is to generate more business for them. So using your programming knowledge, if you can put something together for them that they can sell, right? Or they can use it to bring in new leads, new customers. Leads just means somebody who um, you know, you, you have their contact information and they're interested in either your services or your product. And if they can use it to then turn those people into customers, they're happy. For example, let's say that you want to build a website for a photographer. Well, how would you go about it? Would you just pitch it to them like, hey, 
uh, I have my college degree, you're a freelancer um, for, for photography, just hire me. Well, in that case, they might not even care. They're like, hey, yeah, that's cool, you have a college degree and all, but I don't know how that's really applicable to me. But now let's say you, you reframe this. You go up to that same photographer and you say, hey, so I noticed that each person whose information that you get, out of every 10 people, one of those people becomes your customer. Is that right? And then they're like, yeah, that's actually right. How much is that one client or customer worth to you? And the freelance photographer might be like, $2,000, right? Or so you're like, okay, so one client to you is worth $2,000. And they're like, yes. So then you're like, okay, so out of 10 people, if one person gives you $2,000, then what's the average on those 10 people, right? So let's, that's simple. Let's divide 2,000 by 10, and we should get something like 200 right so that means that each new lead or each new uh in, in you know person who's interested in that freelancer is essentially worth two hundred dollars to them right so now imagine you were a python developer and you needed to put together a website for them it could be a simple website so you could even uh go to them and just say hey i'm gonna put a simple website together for you now if you are helping them generate, let's say instead of 10 new leads or potential customers, let's say you're helping them get 50 new customers or uh, you know leads per month, how much is that worth to them, right? Out of 50 people, if five people give that freelancer photographer business, now that freelance photographer, instead of making $2,000, now he has five people per month. He's making $10,000 per month, right? So could you safely charge that freelancer $5,000 to put together a website that gets business for him, right? And if you convince that photographer of this or show him this, then it's, it, it, he, he, he doesn't care and you're able to make $5,000, you can frankly name your price. So saying $100 an hour as a freelance software developer is an understatement, but I just have to do that so when I'm making this video, it doesn't sound like scammy, right? Uh, it doesn't sound too unrealistic, but this is very possible. So as a freelancer, you need to think of, your, of yourself as a business and all the people that you get, think of them as a client. Right. That's uh, think of think of each person not as like your employer or whatever. They're just each of them are your client. And the beautiful thing here is that you can fire your clients. In a lot of the times, firing 70 to 80 percent of your clients and focusing on only some of the premium ones and then at giving them more services can actually increase your income and you don't have to deal with a lot of people who are like nagging at you, right? Or you don't like dealing with. So that's another beauty of a freelancer uh, software developer because you're, you, it's not like if you go to that nine to five job and you don't like it, you're just kind of stuck there doing one thing. Here, you can choose and create your own path and kind of name your price. And the smarter you can think like a business, then you have infinite growth. And the great thing is, you can turn into an agency over time. But in the start, you know, one step at a time. The first step is getting that one client. So don't just say, hey, I just have this one really cool skill and I can help you. I'm just a cool painter, so I'm just gonna paint or I'm a cool designer, so I'm just gonna do designing. Think of it how you can help them earn more business and then frame it from that perspective. They're much more likely to hire you and honestly, you could even charge way more than $100 an hour, right? Because if you can deliver somebody results, you can put together that website for that freelance photographer, right? That's not even a business. Just that freelance photographer example that I was talking about earlier. And that website takes you, let's say an hour or two hours to put together. You can charge $5,000 and it's not tied to your hourly income. It's tied to the result you're providing them. Okay, that's how you can start to break away from that hourly mindset and start to go into higher profits because you're giving better results, right? You're selling a result. So 
with all of that to summarize, think of yourself as a business. Everybody else is a client. Working as a freelancer is actually safer than working at a job because a, a job is just one client. Whereas if you have 20 different clients, you can even choose to fire someone you don't like to work with. You have flexibility to work remotely. You, you have flexibility to work with whoever you want. And basically, however much income you need, you can increase the number of clients you get. And as a bonus tip, if you are, you know, in college or using some form of learning, you know, going to school, that's one resource, right? That's not your, the only place. It's like when you're at a job, you think the job is the only place you can go and get an income. You can go to a job and still have, you know, freelancing gigs on the side to earn an extra income. Just like that, if you're actually learning, like from a college, you can use other resources to learn as well and you don't have to treat college just like that one resource and you can't learn from anywhere else all right so hopefully this gives you some perspective of how it's actually possible to generate hundred dollars an hour or even more as a freelancer software developer right i just gave you a very simple example and it doesn't even require all that complicated knowledge the example i gave you is literally being able to charge a ton of money just for building a website for somebody right but now think of as a python developer you're offering much more custom solutions to a company and these custom solutions can be like providing them with actionable data analytics proving to somebody that hey you know based on how much traffic you're getting and how much conversion you have if you change this one thing it'll improve your growth tremendously for example somebody helped me a python developer they did some data analytics at clever programmer and they were able to tell me that hey if you focus more on creating better videos for people or if you focus more on you know giving people an offer that's better for them can actually help you in your business and it has helped me you know at clever programmer because i'm able to help people in a better way and that data insight that they gave me was actually super actionable for me and something that i immediately started to get results from that way for you you know as a python developer because you're offering such customized solutions you could charge even higher than that so hopefully this makes sense shoot me in comments below if you guys have any more questions about this, I'd love to jump in and answer that for you. For now, this is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I love your faces off. And I'll see you in the next video.